If you have a light in Blender and want to add a modifier to it, you will be surprised that you can't, since there won't be a modifier icon on the right. Like I can add an array to this lamp model, but with the spot I have, things become tricky. What we need to do is place the cursor on the spot with the Shift S cursor to selected, then add a mesh that won't affect the scene, and the best one for that is a single vertex. You can make it by collapsing plane vertices or just using the extra mesh add-on in Blender which is built in it. Once you add the vertex, move it below the ground, then in the layers, select it and hold Shift to select the spot, then press Ctrl P to set parent as object. It will appear like this, the vertex at the top, and inside it will be the spotlight, and we can now add any modifier we want to the vertex, such as the array, change it from relative to constant, and array the mesh. Then, in the object settings, under the instancing tab, change it from none to vertices, and it should apply the modifier to any light parent with the mesh. You might say, why do we do all this? We can just copy it and be done with that. The thing is, with modifiers and light, the door is open to many cool things. Say like once you do the array, you can continue with the screw modifier and get some amazing light pattern by just playing with the numbers, which is dope, and combining this with some of the light settings, you can light your scene with some unique ways. If you don't like the screw, then what about the build modifier? With this, we can play the lights one by one or randomly by adjusting the build settings. The wave modifier can do some cool stuff too, with animation playing and you changing those numbers in it, some dancing vibes can be done with ease. And that's it. Try to experiment with the other ones to see different results, and tell us in the comment if you get some dope ones. See you next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.